Hi, I'm Mike, Pokétips Mike, and welcome back to episode number 15 of my Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. Last time, we had a very emotional episode. In the beginning, everything was great. We even caught a mythical Pokemon in the wild area, and then we went out to dinner with Sonya and Hop. But then there we were on top of the world, and Marnie popped up out of nowhere and took out three of my Pokemon. And as a result, I had to grab some Pokemon out of the box and put them on the team and do a little training as well. I also went to the Pokemon Center in Hammerlock and bought some TMs for Norbert because I'm sick of Norbert not having a good electric type move. So I bought the TM for Thunderfang and Firefang and basically spent all my money. And now with that, we're ready to make our way over to the new town of Spike Moth over here. So let's hop on our car and go inside. Uh, another place in this game with really good music. Sword and Shield have such a fantastic soundtrack. Ah, uh, here she is, that murderer. With the shutter closed, no one's gonna be able to challenge the gym. I gotta look into this. Oi, welcome to Spike Muff, kid. Hope you're ready for the gym mission. Hold on, mate. If you're gonna take on the gym mission, you better change into your uniform. Oh, I guess we're getting right into it. It's been a little while since I've done this part. And that's right, you with the battle team yell members as the gym. That's kind of cool. Gym challenger. You want to get past me, but I don't want that. Basically, it's a battle between our desires. Well, I think my desire is stronger. I can't believe we're going for our seventh gym badge right now. Woo! Team Yell has the Soul Galio. That's pretty wild. Haha, <laughs> that's crazy! Now, out of all the evil teams, I definitely think Team Yell will be the one that would not be able to control a legendary Pokémon at all. These guys seem so goofy, this guy's just fist pumping in the background. They don't really know what's going on, I wonder how he was lucky enough to catch this Solgaleo and I had one teleport away. Anyway, now's a really good time to test out that new Fire Fang move, so let's go ahead and do it, but that thing's gonna hit me with Heavy Slam, which... Woo! Nice, Norbert! Resist that up real good! Are you kidding? We missed? What a way to start off the episode! Only I would start off the episode by missing! Well, let's try this again! Good, keep going for that Heavy Slam, Super Nebby! And now, Norbert, do me a favor here and please hit this one! Thank you so much! Fire Fang is kind of annoying because it- Ooh, wow, we got the burn? I guess that makes up for last time. That definitely makes up for it missing last turn. But Fire Fang is kind of annoying because it doesn't have perfect accuracy. It is like 95% accuracy. But also combined with Norbert's ability, Hustle, we're going to be missing a decent amount of these moves. Because Hustle, I think it raises the damage that I do with my physical attacks a little bit. But it also makes them a little bit less accurate. So I'm hoping this doesn't like backfire on us in the long run, but Norbert's gonna be doing a lot of damage overall. Alright Soul Galio, get your last heavy slam out of there, doing absolutely nothing to me because I resisted and that burn lowers its attack, and goodbye. I bet that's gonna give a- yeah, that gives a lot of XP. Oh yeah, Sprout! Sprout's leveling up now. I set Sprout up so it had just enough XP to level up, so after this battle we could evolve it on camera, because I think it's a lot more fun seeing the Pokémon evolve rather than me just saying, oh yeah, it evolved off screen. And a Mantine. I'm very afraid to use my Mantine, Grindylo, because I know, just like how we knocked it out there, all it takes is one little electric attack, and that thing is down and out. But let's not focus on that right now, let's focus on the good over here. What? Sprout is evolving? And there it is. Now Sprout is a big, bad Ferrothorn. Now the good thing about this game is when Sprout levels up, it learns Power Whip. Which we desperately need because as you can see right here, its moveset isn't very diverse at all. So we need a little bit of diversity here, so Power Whip is gonna go very well on our movesets. I don't want to let you through. That's why I was waiting all squeezed in this crack. But since I lost, it was really all for nothing. Whatever. You won, so I guess I'll step aside. Oh, and I guess his little friend there is gonna run away too. I thought they were both gonna try to battle me. Whatever. Oh, uh, we can't ride our car in here? That's so lame. Let's keep going. Let's find the next Team Yell Grunt that's gonna attack me. Ooh, these guys might do it. Let me just heal up just in case. There we go. Now we're ready. This gym is so weird because it doesn't feel- Oh, hello, Mr. Mime. Now they'll fight me. What's this? A gym challenger made it through? All of us Team Yell members have blocked the way. Don't think we'll just let you waltz through. 
but like I was saying before, this gym feels so weird because it doesn't seem anything at all like a gym. Ooh, Quagsire. This is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. Now we could go ahead and try Sprout Outs. I gotta take that Evio Light off of him. I had that Evio Light on him just in case we had to swap him into a battle, although I really wasn't planning on doing that before. And Bulldoze, that might hurt a little bit. Not really. And you know what? Lower my speed all you want. Sprout is already a really slow Pokemon, so it doesn't matter. Bind. I was half expecting it to go for a fire move and just knock me out there. <laughs> you never really know what's gonna happen. Oh, nice! We have Iron Barb, so we do a little damage that way, too. I love this already. I really need to go back to the wild area, though. Or just search around for a berry tree and get that berry that reduces the damage that super effective fire moves do to this thing. Because I feel like that's how Sprout is gonna go. Prim Arena. Okay, this is a good matchup for us. But yeah, I really feel like- Ooh, wait, wait a second. Oh my gosh! I'm talking about how Sprout's gonna die and- Oh, critical hits. Oh, that's awful. They were really trying to take me out there. Sprout, you better hit this Power Whip right now and take out this Prim Arena. Thank you so much. Get this thing out of here, almost murdering my new Sprouts. Come on. You can't do that. This is the first episode we're trying to use this thing. It can't die right away. But yeah, I feel like if something is gonna knock Sprout out, it's going to be because it'll be something out of the blue that has a fire move and it's just gonna one-hit KO us. That was totally unbelievable. Even my Pokemon are in awe of you and your team. Here, go on through. Check out our neon signs while you're at it. I do have to say, those are some pretty cool neon signs. Will the Mr. Mime let us through now, though? Barry, Barry! Aw, there it goes. That's kind of weird that they have a Cantonian Mr. Mime here instead of the Galar form. We're in the Galar region, why won't you have the Galar form? I don't like the way that guy's looking at me out of the window. Is he gonna try battling me? No, I guess not. Oh, I guess they are. I'm yelling for no reason! Woo! Okay! That was a nice flip! Did I surprise you? Yes, you did! I did not think they could do that! I'm a little surprised how much my legs hurt from that landing. Yeah, you guys just jumped out of a window. I really hope you're okay. Wait, is this a double battle? No, okay, good. This is a single battle. Wow, that was absolutely crazy. Oh, there we go! Shadow Greedent! <laughs> Doing crazy things, jumping out of the window, and they have some pretty crazy Pokemon, too. This Greedent almost blends in with the background here. Looks kind of wild. Uh, I think I'll hit it with a Dragon Tail right now. Trick or treat! Oh, spooky moves coming from the Shadow Pokemon. What does this thing do again? I always forget. Oh, it adds the Ghost type to Norbert. Do I want that? Wow, Norbert! You've got to stop missing, buddy. I mean, I guess Trick or Treat wouldn't really be that bad in this situation, because this thing is a normal type, so now it can't hit me with normal moves. But let's let's try hitting him this time, Norbert. Good job. Ooh, that does nothing. All right, what's the second Pokemon? Trevenant. Oh, all right. Well, now we're absolutely going to swap out. Yeah, no, I don't want to take a super effective ghost type attack because of that Trick or Treat. What was it going for here? Frenzy Plants. <laughs> That's pretty appropriate for Trevenant to have. Well, I know we have a free turn right here, and I could go for that Flame Charge just to boost my speed up a little bit, but I don't care. We're just gonna knock this thing out with the Pyro Ball. Get it out of here. Or actually, maybe I should've just went for a Flame Charge just to save some Pyro Ball PP. But again, doesn't matter. We already did it too late. And now let's see this Shadow Greedent again. I feel so tempted whenever I see this thing to call it, like, Greedunt. Because I'm so used to saying that because of the old Sword and Shield leaks that reveal this Pokemon a little bit early. So yeah, here I'm just going for that double kick just to save some PP. I know Pyro Ball is a lot stronger, even though it's not super effective. And it's going for Trick or Treat again. This is a really spooky squirrel. You know what, Cho? Let's show this thing what real spooks are like. Double kick it! I lost my leg pains back, so it's a double shock. Buddy, you need to go to a hospital. I don't get why two of them are always together, but only one of them wants to battle me. It's also too bad that I can't go in any of these little doors. It would be cool to see what's inside of these buildings. Alright, here's another Mr. Mime. There's some kind of invisible wall you can't get through no matter how you try. Alright, which way is the way? I guess this way again. The HP of your Pokémon not looking so good. Actually, no, it's looking pretty great. These guys are so acrobatic! 
I practiced that back handspring so much, even a pop star would be jealous of those moves. Were you surprised? While you're in utter shock, I'm gonna sneakily win this battle. Ooh, starting off things with the Octillery. I don't know how Octillery is gonna be winning you this battle, especially when Norbert actually decides to hit the Thunderfang and one-hit KO it. Oh, you're so good, Norberts. Thank you, Norberts. Oh, and Milotic. Oh, you were so, so done now. Milotic was always one of those Pokemon that used to scare me because it seemed like in every game, the champions always had this thing. I remember Wallace had this in Emerald, Cynthia had this in Diamond and Pearl, and I would always start with like the fire type starter, so this thing would be so annoying for me to take out. And it looks like it wants to be annoying here, hitting me with that sludge bomb and poisoning me, but again, Norbert does not care. See, I think all Norbert really needed was just a strong electric move, and now it's a champ. Ooh, and let's see, Grindylo wants to get Hydro Pump. I don't like the accuracy, but it's a lot stronger than Bubble Beam, so we're gonna go for it. Just gotta hope that's not another one of those moves that wants to miss a whole bunch. Huh? Seriously? You've gotta be kidding. It's over already? What? I should have been practicing my battle skills, not my backflip skills. Thanks for showing me that. Guess I'll cheer for you from now on. These guys, I feel like they're totally using their talent wrong. You've got some of these Team Yell guys jumping out of windows, you've got other ones backflipping, and I know Piers is down at the bottom playing on his guitar. Going wow, 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 wow. These guys, instead of being Pokemon trainers or a team, they should totally just get together and create like a band or a circus or something like that. Is this gonna be, okay, here's a double battle. And of course, this is the one time I don't heal before getting into it. Venusaur and Joltik, kind of scary. Oh, but we've got Norbert and Cho. What do we have to worry about? Nothing here. Got my two MVPs out right now, but because Norbert is poisoned and uh, not full health, I'm gonna swap into Sprout because I am just a little scared of one of these things being able to take me out. And then with Cho, I think I'm gonna target that Venusaur and go for Pyro Ball. Double battles are so scary because all it takes is their two Pokemon teaming up on one of mine, and then boom, just like that, we have a death. But if I could just clean take out something like this, like that Venusaur, we should be good. And if that Galvantula wants to try attacking Sprout, be my guest. Although it would more than likely try to go for, okay, I was gonna say it would try to go for Cho. But I don't really understand that move. And Bronzong. Oh, I despise this Pokemon. Bringing me back to the Team Galactic days. Well, you know what? Ugh, I'm not liking how low my Pyro Ball PP is getting. I guess we'll Pyro Ball and take out that Bronzong, and maybe I will- I'm not sure if I can leave this gym and heal in the middle of it. If I can, I'll absolutely do that, because before we fight Piers, the gym leader, I really would love to have all my Pyro Ball PP back. Accuracy rose sharply, that's not gonna do much. Ooh, sh Spirit Shackle. I don't know what I was about to say there. Well, now we can't swap out a Sprout, which is kind of annoying because Sprout is not going to be doing that much here. Although, honestly, that resisted Gyro Ball actually does a decent amount of damage to that Galvantula. So let's see, I'm really not scared of that Bronzong. I'm going to go double up on the Galvantula right there. Again, I want to save my Pyro Ball PP just in case, just in case something more serious comes out. Like another Soul Galio. For that, I would love to have more Pyro Balls. And let's see, what does this thing want to do? Spirit Shackle again? Be my guest. Sprout can take that really well all day long, but this is going to do nothing. Yeah, that does absolutely nothing. And Gastrodon is the last Pokemon. Ooh. All right, I'm going to stay in with Cho. I know this is kind of a, it might be not the best decision, but I think even if it goes for something super effective, Cho can take it. I'll go for Flame Charge on Bronzong, which I think should knock it out, and we'll go for Power Whip on the Gastrodon. I'm not sure if Sprout- oh wow, that thing is living? That's so annoying. That is so annoying. Ugh, I really hope we don't lose a Pokemon this turn, because now Sprout's getting low. Okay, Gastrodon's going for Dive. That's fine. That's totally okay. Except, you know, it's gonna avoid the attack, but we're, we're cool with that. Just to play this turn really safely, I'm gonna Lemonade on Sprout, give it something nice to drink, and I'm gonna swap Cho out for Grindylo. Now, we're not gonna take either of their Pokemon out this turn because this is such a defensive play, but I think this guarantees that both of my Pokemon live this turn. I know that Bronzong can't do a lot to Sprout, and I know for sure if it tries to go for Dive on either of my Pokemon, they'll both be able to take it just fine. Yeah, perfect. Another great thing about Grindylo is it has Water Absorb, so that'll heal its health if it gets low. Okay, let's try this again. We'll try going for Power Whip on the Gastrodon, and at this point, anything 
will take out the Bronzong, so I might as well just go for Icy Wind, because Icy Wind hits both of the Pokemon. So we can't really lose here. Unless, of course, Icy Wind decided to miss, which it didn't there. Thank you for actually working. And now, Sprouts, take this thing out of here. Very nice. Great job, Sprouts. And just like that, a very, very clean double battle. Ugh, whatever. Our gym leader's up next, but he's really strong. Got that? Alright, so thanks for the tip that that guy's up next. Let's see if we can go heal before we fight Piers. And yes, it looks like we can. Okay, cool. So I'll go heal up now, and we can jump right back in. I don't think we're gonna have to fight any more gym trainers now, so we should be good. There's Marnie and two Team Yell, guys. Let me just make sure my team's ready. Yeah, I think we're good. We were able to defeat us old Galio before, so I think we should be fine with this team. I don't think I'll have anything to worry about. Oh wait, I gotta remember to take that Eviolite off of this thing. Well, I don't have the berry for super effective fire attacks, but I do have the one for super effective fighting attacks, so I might as well just give that to Sprout just in case right now. And let's keep going. What's going on here? Shut your glob! Oh, Pokétips! Uh, I'm really sorry. Yeah, what did I just walk into here? The lot from Spike Moth's telling me they locked the city down for my sake. We thought if we could stop the other gym challengers from reaching the gym, then Miss Marnie would be the only one to win and make it to the Champion Cup. And we figured that would increase the chances of our wonderful Miss Marnie becoming the new champion. That's no way to help someone at all. Pokétips, no need to bother with all the preparations or whatever. Go on in and face the gym leader. All right, Marnie, let's make this happen. And look at those guys over there. They're, they're having a great great time. I have good ears, so I overheard the whole thing about the city being shut up. When I was alone, it was like my soul was weeping. This is a simple gym stadium. We can't even Dynamax our Pokemon, but well, I still hope you'll enjoy the battle. Actually, you know what? I'm 100% okay with that. That'll be a nice change of pace here. Usually that last Dynamax Pokemon that the gym leaders have always gives me a little bit of trouble, but now we don't have to worry about that, so I feel even better going to this gym. All right, Piers, let's make it happen. I'm the gym leader of Spike Moth, Piers, the dark type user. You want to challenge me even though you'll know you'll lose? This song's for you, foolish trainer. Get ready for a mosh pit with me and my party. Spike Moth, it's time to rock. Let's rock and roll, Piers. And, oh, gym leader Piers has my least favorite Pokemon ever. <laughs> let's do it, Scrafty. I don't think that's a Scrafty. You know, it's not really a good sign when the gym leader sends out a Pokemon and they really don't know what Pokemon they sent out. But Stealth Rocks. Normally when you do in-game battles, Stealth Rocks does not matter. But you guys know- ooh, wow, nice, one hit KO. But you guys know how much I swapped out, and I'm actually really happy that we don't have Dumbledore on the team for this battle, because Dumbledore would take a lot of damage from those Stealth Rocks. Malamar's gonna mess you up with his contrary ability? Again, buddy, that's Vespaquen. And its ability is Pressure. Alright, Norbert, again, let's take this thing out. Buddy, you gotta hit! String Shot. <laughs> Okay, Norbert, they basically gave us a free turn there. String Shot and Tailwind. I don't know what Piers is setting himself up for. He's got the Tailwind, he's got the Stealth Rocks, but his Pokemon are dropping like flies right now. Okay, Norbert, ooh, Dragon Breath. Maybe that's why you swapped in here. And I'm actually surprised that did that much. I really didn't think Vespaquen had any special attack at all. All right, well, let's hope you have something better than Vespaquen, because right now you're not looking too good. Ooh, Delmise. I think that's the shiny one. I don't remember it being red. Yes, that's the shiny one. Okay. Time to meet another member of my crew. Face the proud high roar of my Obstagoon. Yeah, Piers definitely went a long time without any gym challengers because he has no idea what Pokemon he's using. Roleplay, alright, if you want my ability Hustle, go ahead and take it. Let's hope we one-shot this thing though, I know it's very, very weak to fire, but that doesn't really do that much. I'll stay in though, it's tempting to swap out into Cho because I know Cho will definitely be able to take this thing out, but again, with the Stealth Rocks, I really don't want to start swapping around. So I know if we swap in the Cho, Cho is automatically going to lose like 25% of its health. Man, Piers is just not with it today. Easiest gym yet? Oh, Piers Machamp! What is this, the third gym leader with this thing? Why does every gym leader in this game have one of those Machamp Regigigas? Well, I don't want to fight this with Norbert. Let's, uh, oh, counter. I'm actually really happy I went for Dragon Tail because that always goes last. Thank, that was a good play. That was a really, really good play. Thank me for not wanting to fight this thing immediately. Oh, he was just mentioning a Skunk Tank, and now he actually has one. Well, let's see if he makes any good plays with this one, because this is the one Pokemon he apparently knows that he actually has. All right, he's going for the Hone Claws, raising its attack. A little scary, so I think I'll try Dragon Tailing this one out next turn, too. Oh, wow. 
Ooh, we got the paralysis. Nice. It's probably still gonna outspeed me though. Oh wait, yeah, it'll definitely outspeed me if I go for Dragon Tail. But I think Dragon Tail will also, it'll kill it. But let's see here, incinerate. We resist that, so it's gonna do nothing. But you are gonna burn my berry up, which is kind of annoying. I liked having that on my Pokemon just in case we got hit by fairy moves. Bring it out the Machamp again? No, a Corviknight! Alright, so that's the team. He has Corviknight, he has Machamp, and that's Skunk Tank. I honestly think we could take out this whole team right now with just Norbert. Let's make it happen. Alright, Norbert, let's hit that Thunderfang here. Coil! This dude is trying to set up with every single one of his Pokemon, but he's setting off with no payoff. Man, Norbert, you are missing so much, though. Raising its attack, defense, and accuracy again. Let's hit this Dragon Tail, though. And out you go. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with this guy. I'm just spinning his whole team around. All right, we'll go for the Fire Fang here since I'm using a lot of Thunder Fangs. Ooh, and nice, we got the Paralysis. So this thing is absolutely going down here. Wait, does it have the ability? Yes, it has Aftermath, so we're gonna take some damage. I wanted to see if I could go through this whole battle without using any potions either, but now I might do that. Cho is getting level 51, even though Cho didn't do anything here. Good job, Cho. All right, Norbert, take that Hyper Potion, and it looks like the only thing this Machamp wants to do is counter, which I know I could just counter with Dragon Tail. And it's just gonna live in the red zone. All right, Norbert, just hit the Thunderfang. Just hit the Thunderfang. Yeah, this dude, I don't get it. I don't get it. You know to win battles, you actually have to attack my Pokemon. The battle would be over by now if Norbert could actually hit all the Thunderfangs. We need like a physical version of Shockwave on this thing. <laughs> well, let's get you out of here with your attack boosts again. Now this time we don't have to worry about a counter at all. Oh, it's got Charm. You're gonna lower my attack. Well, Norbert, take out this Machamp once and for all. And now he's into his final Pokemon. And I guess this time we're actually gonna see his little final Pokemon speech. I don't do encores, get it? I don't know, this whole battle feels like an encore because you've been sending out the same Pokemon over and over and over again. Well, this is probably gonna take a little bit longer now because of that charm lowering my attack, but we're this close already to just doing this whole battle with Norbert. So, you know what? We're not swapping out now. Oh my gosh, buddy! Can you please hit the Thunderfangs? This thing is gonna keep raising its... its oh! Now we can't even Dragon Tail this thing out. Oh, it's got Power Up Punch. Now we might be in a little bit of trouble here. Now this thing's at plus three attack, and finally Norbert decided it was going to attack. Wait, is that a crit? Was that a- Yes, that was a crit. That was absolutely a crit. Okay, good. That makes up for missing so much. Great job, Norbert. I can't believe it, but we just soloed this whole gym with Norbert. Here's your Dark Badge. Well, let's get that 7th badge. That honestly doesn't even feel fair. That was by far the easiest gym battle we've had so far. And I guess now it's Marty's turn to go ahead and battle him. You're not gonna need any luck. You were able to take out three of my Pokemon last time. You'll be able to destroy this guy no problem. Hey, there's some trouble over on Route 9. It's so bad even the champions come to sort things out. You gave Piers a thrashing, didn't you? You should come head over there to help. Come on then, I'll show you the way. Leon, tell me what's going on over here? Pokétips, thanks for coming, but I've got a handle on this. Whatever's making that noise, I'll see to it. I already told you, keep your eye on the goal. And for you, that's winning the gym challenges. The only gym badge left is the one you'll get from the Dragon Gym Leader Raihan, right? Raihan is the only trainer out there I consider a real rival. He's that good, you know. Sorry, but I suppose this is no time for me to be stopping for a chat. There's a bit of trouble here with my name on it, but don't you worry about a thing. The unbeatable champion is here to look after things and keep you all safe. I hope you've got this, Leon. I would love to help you out right now with whatever that shaking thing is, but apparently you want to handle it all by yourself. That came from the tunnel, wouldn't you say? Seems I'm about to have a champion time. Hey, he actually knows where to go for once. Anything happen when I go into the tunnel here? Well, there's a police guy. What do you have to say? What's this? The earth is shaking. Maybe if I try to sway in the same way. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not helping. Oh my gosh, look at this crowd over here. Oh, there's Hop and the Galarian Ivysaur too. All right, Hop, fill me in. What's going on? This is mad. You know what I mean? Hop, what was that loud noise? That's what I would like to know. That noise, it was like some massive explosion. There was this huge surge of red light, and then the wild Pokemon just started Dynamaxing around me, brazen as you'd like. Lee and his Charizard took down that Dynamax Pokemon in the blink of an eye. 
I knew Lee was strong, but this really makes you appreciate how great he is, eh? Let's go meet up with him, Poketips. He should be at Hammerlock Stadium. Alright, let's leave behind this beautiful Galarian Ivasaur and go to the Hammerlock Stadium instead. Or wait a second, was this a new route? No, right? This is still Route 9. No, this is Route 7. I definitely think we've been to Route 7 before. Yeah, over here, I guess. Or I guess not. I really don't know. Were we here or not? Oh yeah, I recognize that little tunnel there. That gets us to Route 8 and everything. But I guess we gotta battle this gentleman over here with the awesome trainer battle theme and that cool umbrella. I acknowledge your strength. Please indulge me in a contest of strength and wits. I'm not sure, is this guy gonna be like up to my level or is he gonna be low leveled? Well, he has a Gastrodon, that's a decent start. What level is this thing going to be though? Oh, 48, all right. I was kind of worried this is gonna be like an early game trader at like level 30 or something that we'd stomp all over. Reflect, that's gonna be annoying. But I definitely think we're still gonna be able to stomp all over this guy. Ooh, Reflect type. Oh, so what does that do? Does that copy my type? Oh, that's annoying. That's really, really annoying. A very good play on his side. But that means we 100% need to swap out now because we're not gonna be able to do anything to this Gastrodon. All right, chill, let's go and ooh, Aqua Jets. Well, it's not gonna get the stab anymore, so it's gonna do a lot less. And it'll probably go for Aqua Jet again. Oh, it's not gonna do that. Weird. But now I know Pyro Ball will probably kill it. That's pretty good, even through that Reflect. That's so weird seeing a fire move being super effective against Gastrodon. Who have we had the longest at this point? I think we've had Norbert the longest on my team right now. I don't remember exactly where we caught him, but I remember it was like really, really early on in the game. Ah, uh, you gotta go for that nuzzle. Good, but at least the Reflect is gone now, so we should be able to knock this thing out with a Pyro Ball, as long as we don't get fully paralyzed. Nice job, Cho. Cho never lets me down. Sometimes she likes to miss Fireballs, but other than that, she's a great Pokemon. Always keeps things good. And your final one? Ooh, a Mr. Rhyme. I like Mr. Rhyme. I would say out of all the Galar Pokemon, this is definitely one that I like a lot, especially because it gives an evolution to an older Pokemon that definitely needed it. Now, I'm actually not sure which one's going to do more damage here, Iron Head or Gyro Ball. I think that Mr. Rhyme is generally a fast Pokemon, so I think we should be fine going with this here. Ooh, Double Edge. Why would you go for that? Why would you go for that? I realize you probably don't have any moves that are good against me, but you've got to have something better than Double Edge. Oh, it's just living. That's weird though, getting hit by an Iron Barbs from Mr. Rhyme. Well, let's finish this thing off here with an Iron Head. Oh, you're giving me uh, my ability back? You don't want it anymore? Well, I'll gladly take it, so at least I don't take any more Iron Barbs damage. Alright, Sprout, give him that Iron Head! Knock him out! Wow, the Galar region only has 10 numbered routes. I really feel like they could break up some of this stuff into other routes. Like, for example, in the Kanto region, every little section of that game is its own separate little routes. And here we are back once again in the wonderful city of Hammerlock. And there's the squad, Poketips, over here! Well, if it isn't Poketips... I'd expect nothing less from you and your Charizard, Leon. You took down that Dynamax Pokemon in no time at all. Well, I am the unbeatable champion, after all. But what all is going on here? An overflowing red light. Pokemon Dynamaxing without a power spot? Yeah, but why? I'm not sure. What's going on? That red light could suddenly appear again at any time and we have no way of knowing. Oh, look at you, Professor Magnolia! I'm gonna be quite honest, I kind of forgot she existed. You see her like once early on in the beginning of the game and then she just kind of dips out. The chairman called for me. He wanted to know all about the red light's relationship to the Dynamax phenomenon. Did the chairman know anything? Nothing worth my time. The chairman's all wrapped up in fretting over the future of our energy, apparently. He's left everything to that executive lady. We just don't have enough data. That's why I wanted to ask you to start looking into things too, Sonia. You know more than anyone about the darkest day, after all. Are you saying that the red light and the darkest day are connected? Hey, do you reckon there's anything we could do to help out? Yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of stuff that we can do, but Leon's gonna say, leave it all to me. <laughs> yep, what did I say? Thanks, I appreciate the thought. But all all I could ever ask of you would be that you join me in the greatest final match ever, so you just keep doing your part by winning your way through the gym challenge. Right, of course! You're the unbeatable champion after all, eh? Gran, there's something I want to look into. You'll help me, right? Naturally! Aw, oh, look at those family members going off together. Wow, I just realized this game is so family-oriented. You've got the brothers Hop and Leon, you've got Grandma and Granddaughter with Sonia and Professor Magnolia, and then there's me, just running around the Gala region all by myself. Looks like we know what we need to do, so you two, clear the gym challenge so we can meet again at the Champion Cup! 
I know what I need to do, all right. Defeat that Piers once and for all. You're off to Hammerlock Stadium, yeah, Pokey Tips. Raihan's a tough nut to crack. Well, my friends, I think we can handle this eighth gym leader. But we're gonna leave that for next time. We got a lot of stuff done today. We had a very easy gym leader battle, and luckily nobody died this episode, which is really nice after all the crazy deaths that we've had in the past. With this right here, this is it. Gym number eight. So my friends, I'll join you in the next episode where we take on our final gym leader for the Battle of the Badge. Tune in next time because this is going to be epic.